Good morning. So, I think I'm just going to go straight into it. I know people will be joining, um, but we have got 15 minutes and I've got a stopwatch running. So, good morning. Welcome. Um, I'm going to kick straight off. And who doesn't love minis? This is going to be the title of this theme. So, Yorkshire Arm Fest. We were given a theme this year of... Um, Equinox, which basically means half light, half half daytime, half nighttime, was also a club in Wakefield in the 90s. If you're from there, you'll know what I mean. Um, so I dyed a set of minis. Um, I'm going to show you them in their mini form. Um, I should also say I'm Helen at the Wall Kitchen, just in case you hadn't enjoyed that. Um, my back to front sign, and um, we've got some minis to show you, so... These are um, sock minis, they are merino nylon base, which uh, means it's soft yet strong, and you get 100 grams split into five little mini 20 gram skeins. Um, so this is my theme on Equinox, I will show you them a bit closer. Um, so, um, I wanted to dye a little fade kit, we all love a fade. Um, I did a little swatch. So if you wanted to knit it as a fade, then you could. Um, if you wanted to knit it as a double fade, you could get two packs, do it into the dark, into the middle, and then back out to the light again. Um, so this is my little take on, on that. Um, so you get five colours, um, starting with a very light, speckly daytime into a more kind of bright, vibrant, that I seem to like to think that this is kind of midday when the sun's at its highest. And then as the day goes on, we start to get a little darker and then into the night. Um, still with those little pops of uh, bright orange because they're just fun. And um, I thought it would make a, a really nice set. Um, so they're the minis. Um, you will find all of this live in the shop um, by quarter past nine. Um, so there we go, that's theirs. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh, because I got extremely carried away with the middle colour, or the second colour, which is um, this one, I actually decided to buy, um, dye, not buy, that would be weird, I dyed <laughs> a big version. Um, so I put it on a BFL sock. Um, in the big version so there you go you get some speckles and lots of different colors in there i must say guys i'm really impressed at how many of you are up this morning great job it's really impressive um, and then i added it i couldn't just stop at the sock base so i went then for a merino silk so that's a really soft luxurious base beautiful for shawls and you know we're going into that time of year now so um, which is exciting. The sun is out finally, um, makes everything feel a little bit better. Um, and then, just because who doesn't love a bit of fluff, I did it on a mohair silk base. So this you can add in. I mean, it's just so fluffy. Love it. Um, I am actually going to cake one of these today. Don't know what I'm going to add it to yet, but I'm going to do something. Um, so you can add that to any of the others. Um, or you can add it to your minis and have a fluffy mini experience. Um, what I have found with the um, mohair silk is that it basically makes things indestructible. Um, so I've, I started knitting this into jumpers, which is what everybody was doing, um, and they have not felted or peeled around the armpits at all. Um, hats, hats keep their shape. If you have curly hair, I have curly hair, I found that actually it stops my hair from doing that kind of really flat, staticky thing. Um, so what I do when I put my hat on is I turn my head upside down and put my curls in there and then they're kind of just all sitting in there. And it's definitely the mohair silk is kind of stopping that kind of trashing my curls. I mean, they're not as amazing as they are without a hat, but they're, they're staying pretty good. So that's good. Um, so yeah, so you can also get it. Oh, and the colour that I've called this is incandescent, which um, basically means, I've written it down, bear with me one second. So bright with heat or full of immersion. And I think for this time of year, there's been a lot going on. 
I know I feel full of immersion, kids in and out of school and kids now back at school, which is great. And, you know, just being so grateful to people within our industry who've basically kept our small businesses still going. So just really appreciate you. Appreciate you just coming on and, you know, being here to watch. So, yeah, a bit of incandescent on fluff. What more could you ask for? Um... What else did I want to show you? Um, East London Knits, who is Renee Callahan. Um, we worked on a little project together, um, a new shawl, um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I've got it here to show you, which was a, a treat. It was a little cycle journey to go and see her, which was nice to pick this up for you guys so you could see it in person. Um, but this shawl is called um, Amphidrome. Um, it's a, such a clever construction. Um, it's knit in the round, I believe, which means you start in the middle, which is that point there, that little point there, and you work outwards. Um, and what you create is this beautiful, I mean, I can't even fit it in the camera, rectangular shawl. Um, this one has been knit in um, BFL Silk DK. Um, I think it would transfer really lovely into other DK yarns. Um, I think it would be beautiful with a bit of fluff. And, and the, I mean, she, so the colour that Renee picked was Twilight, um, which is very keeping. Um, I feel like I need to share the meaning of Amphidrome with you. So it comes from the Greek and Ampha is in the round and Drome um, means running. And the word itself is where the waves meet on the tide system um, and I think it really represents that really well it's it's such a clever construction and it's as far as I'm aware all knitting so I think there's a little bit of purling but not not very much at all if any um, so that's really stunning it looks absolutely gorgeous on um, I may have been wearing it around the house a little yesterday so you can wear it as a wrap for this time of year, you know, out in the garden. We're going to be spending a lot of time outside, hopefully with something cool and sparkly. Um, whatever that is, it takes your fancy. Or you can wear it more as a, a scarf. Um, or even just have it on your lap in the evening. So yeah, really beautiful. East London Knits, I will add all this to... Um, my stories over on the wall kitchen, I'll add show notes throughout the day. Um, so this is Amphidrome by East London Knits. So that I wanted to share that one with you. Um, I'd also like to show you this shawl. Some of you will have seen it before. Um, this is a crochet shawl. I think it's very important that we support our crochet members um, of the knitting community. And um, I love seeing how um, my yarns, these yarns that has been used in this, I refer to as zip yarns. Um, and I use this, this color here was used. So this is um, M2-9, which is the meaning of a twin nebula, which is a, a cloud dust in space. Um, and this shawl is done by the Crochet Project. And um, Jo created little pops of colour um, with a technique that she's calling Strop, Stop, Drop and Pop, which is the name of this shawl. Um, it's one skein, so you can achieve this beautiful shawl with just one of these, which is um, brilliant. And again, it's just something that's really lightweight. It looks really stunning on. Um, when I wear it, I get lots and lots of compliments. People always ask, are these added after? And they're not. So they're done as you're creating. Um, such a clever design. So thank you to the Crochet Project for using my yarn for that. Um, that colour is back in stock. So I've popped it back in the shop. So that's M2-9. Um, and that's a four ply sock yarn. This is um, BFL nylon. Uh, I'm just going to breathe because... I'm struggling. Okay, so next, what do we have um, to show you? So, as ever, oh, my stopwatch seems to have stopped. Um, as some of you may have seen today in the lineup, is Maddie Harvey. Um, 
me and Maddie met at, um, I can't remember if we met online actually, or at um, one of the shows, um, but we've, we've worked a bit together now. She's an absolute beautiful soul. She has, um, she has a great Instagram channel. Um, she does um, cake and knits on, on a morning. I think it might be a Thursday morning, but I, I might have got that wrong. Um, and we worked on a little project um, called the AMA. She did an AMA shawl, which unfortunately I don't have that here. Um, and then we went on to work on this project here called the AMA sweater, um, which is a boxy construction. Um, and it's just such a great knit. It has two colours, so you use two colours, and you create this stunning string of pearls. Um, this, this sweater, um, I've used Moon Hopping and a colour called Frenchy, but the original I have from earlier is Moon Hopping and a colour called Grey Matter, and Grey Matter being um, your brain. Um, my eldest son has Tourette's and I just imagined what might be going on in there. So speckles basically um, and moon hopping. Um, so yeah, grey matter and moon hopping. They, they go together to make the original Amma sweater and this is my version of it. Um, the shoulder construction is very clever. It's a raglan so you knit it in the round. The string of pearls, they look complicated, they're really not. You just knit that colour at that time um, and create these little bumps. It's really, really easy. So it's all knitting again. Um, and yeah, I just really like wearing it. Um, it's I knit a size large. Um, it's plenty big enough. It's got um, a, a, a positive ease in the pattern and it goes up in several sizes it's a great sweater and maddie is on i've written that down hang on that is maddie is on at 11 40 today so um if you want to make a note of that you should definitely pop over and watch her her live because um yeah her constructions are very clever she definitely is the queen of uh working on color on top of another base um, so I just wanted to share that with you. And then I am going to move into another crochet shawl because it's so beautiful. I want to show it to you. This colour again is moon hopping, um, but this time it's on the merino silk. So it's a little bit more subtle. It's got beautiful drape. Um, and this is called Miss Dalloway. And this pattern is by a designer called uh, Theodora. Um, and you can find her handle of um on um where are we Instagram of um Theodora goes wild, and it's so beautiful. It's two two skeins, and just the the detail in this shawl, and that's crochet. It's it's absolutely mind blowing, and it's got tassels. And who doesn't love a tassel? Uh, so I wanted to show you that quickly. How are we doing? Do you know we're there? We're at its time. So I'm sure I had so much more to tell you. Um, added some more zip pops to the shop. So they were new that I dyed. So they're available. And also just reminding you again that minis are now live in the shop. Um, so do go and grab them because once they're gone, they're gone. Um, I think I will dye a different version of this, but um, this is for today. So thanks guys, that's an incredible turnout. I feel very honoured that you've joined me so early in the morning. I hope the sun is out where you are. Um, and thank you to Sophie. It's been a whole year of this, guys, um, of these shows. And I'm telling you now, she works really hard all day. Um, so please just, you know, thanks. Thank you. And uh, yeah, thanks for tipping up. All right, take care. And I shall see you over on my account at some point, the wool kitchen. Bye, bye.